In this video, we're going to talk about how you can easily, with some effort, be successful dating a woman from another culture. We're talking about Ukrainian women here, but I guess it could relate to other Eastern European cultures where the, the Western culture has not infiltrated and destroyed the minds of innocent people. Okay, so what we're going to talk about today is some of the traits that our successful clients have from dating all the way into long-term relationships or marriage, right? And these are the things that you need to take on board, really take on board. Don't just listen and go, oh, yeah, everybody knows that. No, take it on board because you a lot of guys it. don't know this. And this is what we teach our clients and this is the reason why they are successful. And there are six of them. And let's start. Go on then. Okay, so we always speak about that and it's maybe like, it's very difficult one, but at the same time, the easiest is self-awareness. Mm. It's something that all of us should take in consideration and, um, and be honest with yourself, first of all. So all the guys who are successful, when they came to us and we have a call with them, they, are, they were realistic, right? According to the um, age difference that they're looking for according to what kind of looking they're looking for, what kind of lady they're looking for, uh, according to all the aspects of life. Yes, maybe something was compromising, something negotiating, something discussable, but in general, they were very aware of the place where they live, of how much money they earn, even though we never discuss it with our clients, so we never ask, oh, like, so, like, sometimes I, somebody told us that some agencies they put in them, profile form like the amount of money that you make we don't care because we trust you that you are aware of the situation mm -hmm. and that you will uh will be able to handle that so all of our clients had self-awareness and striker like really like this uh well this is like it's the number one on this list here but it's actually the most trickiest one and we've spoken about this before how do you get someone to have self-awareness self it's like asking a person who is crazy to stop being crazy Right? Or do, do you understand that you are crazy? They don't, they don't understand it, right? Maybe some of them do, but for a lot of the, the time, they think everybody else is crazy. So the self-awareness, it, it's something that we can't teach. We thought about putting a, like a, a module into Ascend about self-awareness, but you can't teach it and you can't explain what it is because it's different for every single person out there, whether it's a man or a woman. What is the self-awareness, right? And I think it's you know, we all have shortcomings, but there are people out there that are absolutely, completely, absolutely delusional. And we're pretty good uh, when, we're, when we're working, when we decide to work with a client. Only a couple of times that I can think of where we were led this way, and then when we started the matchmaking, all of a sudden the age gap got to 20 years, and it was getting no results, and, and he couldn't understand why we weren't producing results for him is we got zero self-awareness. Like we had one guy one time, he was wanting to date 20, like it, was, it all seemed normal when we interviewed him. And then his age gap went to like 25 years and he was incredibly short, wasn't he? And so he was choosing really tall women who were like 20 years younger than him. Where in the world have you ever had an experience with a woman like this? Never. So if you haven't had those experiences in the past with 20 year age gaps or women that are you know half a foot taller than you, have some self-awareness that, that if that hasn't even happened in the past, chances are it's not going to happen in the future. I'm just talking about something physical that just popped into my, my mind then. It's not saying, like, we're not saying that, for example, if the lady is a little bit um, old, uh, older, a little bit uh, taller older. than you. Yeah, and older. There's going to be older no older, older woman. <laughs> yeah, uh, so, like, here. that is fine. But uh, something about, like, um, you know, with no offense, but looking at the mirror and, like, understand, okay, so what can I bring to the relationship, right? Like, what what should, what should what, what kind of life she's going to have with me? And it's not about money. It's about, like, for example, if you're looking for a young younger lady, uh, like, would you be able to keep up with your energy or you will be, or will you willing, be willing her to stay at home and you will just like push your back, you know, from what she's actually wants to do in life. So, um, the, the problem is that we, uh, and we always speak about that. We, it's not that we don't care. It's not that we don't mind like the age gap, but, um, like it's on you, but 99.9999% that you're not going to be successful. It may start somehow, but then if it's, if it's a huge age gap, yeah, it's a huge yeah, what Luba's talking about there is uh, self-awareness within like the relationship and what you're actually looking for. But it, it encompasses all aspects of your life. So if you're if you know you're you're going to be doing this process, whether it's through a matchmaker or us or whatever, or just by yourself, and you're doing it in two years, okay, there's always things to improve, you know, and and because you get once you get 
presented or you meet a woman, that's the version of yourself there, right? And no matter what time you are in life, where you are in your life cycle, because as men get older, regardless of what the red pill community says, how men mature and they become more high value, the older they get. It's not true. Things start to degrade a little bit. Our hair starts to fall out. Our skin's not so good. And I think we actually get shorter as we get older. I don't know if I get taller, but when I met up with my parents the other week, I couldn't believe how short my tall dad was. So that must be happening. So it's that as well. And it's like, okay, so if I'm going to go out there into the world, and I'm going to meet a woman, I want to get the best possible woman. I want her to be attracted to me physically, emotionally, mentally. It's about learning your shortcomings, which we're going to talk about the topics in here, which you need to learn, but also physically as well. You know, if you need to lose weight, go to the gym, all that sort of stuff, dress better, smell better, uh, you know, get your teeth whitened, whatever it is, have that self-awareness and look at yourself and go, what are some things that I can improve now, next week, in a month, in a year, where will I be? Because just going into this complete, complete blindness and just thinking that, yeah, I'm at the peak of what I could be as a human being, which no one ever is, and expecting the results that I would get if I was at the peak, which I could never be, that's where the problem is, okay? So they have self-awareness and they understand that what it is that they're likely to achieve. But it leads, you know, but, to which point? It leads to the point of learning. Like we have it like as a point number three, but it's actually not point number two. Because sometimes we have a call with the guy and that is most of the time when we will say no to the guy, when he's saying like, I, I know everything. I know everything. I just like, I just need you to- Just it, show me the show cheeks. Show me the cheeks. <laughs> and uh, just uh, just introduce me, that's it. Like, I don't need, like, I don't need anything from you. Um, make me 90% discount and like, I will be happy. Uh, but like, like, but it doesn't work this way, you know, honestly, it's not because I don't want to introduce you, but we understand that a different language, different mentality, like there's so many things that you need to know and you need to agree and you need to be willing to learn before you actually start a relationship that it's not even funny, like it's a lot. And when the guy is doing that, before, like on a strategy goal, we always look with Striker and analyze, is he ready for that? Because we did a video, maybe it's even better for you to date lady on the West, you know, not like not likely but for somebody maybe it is because like there are some complications emotional as well will go on that it will be very difficult to overcome i'm not trying to scare you off it's like it's doable and i do it for we both do it for so many years but openness to learn uh, to learn it's like also the quality and like that all of our successful clients have they always listen to us they've done uh, our core like our first course now uh, guys are doing a sand that is also like it's it's incredible product it's really not because we created that like if somebody would create that and we would have to like speak about that like i would definitely do because it's something that is just it's eye opener every week you got a video that tells you exactly what to do and what not to do in the relationship like i if if any of the clients that i've been working for these big companies that have so much stuff if any of them would create anything similar like that they're Possibly would be so much more couples, but like well, there would be some couples at least. At least some, yeah. Because I mean, there was another problems about intentions of the people. But with us, like since we make ascent, since we created ascent, like I don't know, like our success rate according to like quality of the relationship becomes so much mm. better. Like, and all of our partners even say that the girls giving such an incredible feedbacks about the guys because like wow, he paid attention to this, he did that because he was open to learn, not the guy who just like doesn't want to do it and he said yeah i will do it one day like you know this ascent yeah. lay down it's like some of us buying the course or like or 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 uh plan for the gym and think okay i already bought it so it means that i'm losing weight if never even go there so yeah. openness to learn is super important yeah and it's not just openness at the start i mean i think if you have this mentality you have it at the start and you also have it at the end you also have it in five years and ten years when you're still in your relationship right so as you go through you will make mistakes you know, you will, and it's part of it. It's how you can correct those mistakes, you know, and recalibrate which way you're going. So it's this openness to learn and to not be too, to not get too caught up when things go wrong or when you don't understand them. Because, you know, we're doing something new, right? You're going over to date a woman from another culture. You're not supposed to know what to do. You're supposed to make mistakes, and that's okay. Absolutely. And these lead us to point number three, that like all our guys are able to be wrong and mm. this is like i i can't stress it enough how important is that to me as a matchmaker because we had a couple of times a couple of situations uh with striker where like i've been lost like as a matchmaker especially when i was in ukraine I was doing tours that 
like and, and striker was not around and i have to call him because i like guys are also emotional right and like we need to be open about that somebody more somebody less but sometimes when the guy uh get rejected or the guy uh, is doing something wrong and i pointed that or the lady or anyone else the guy become either there's two options like there's three options but what one in the middle is very difficult to get either the guy is like say like he's closing like he um, I mean, it's actually the same. It's like he's closing in his shell. He's going back. He's going back. He's like, he's like that snail who get out, like was so curious, was so open. And then somebody like, bing, you know, and, like, and it goes back. I'm sorry that I compare you with a snail, but um, you understand, right? Like, and, or the guy becomes super aggressive, like from one to zero. He's like, she's a, she's a bitch. She's like that. She's like that. So like, wait, wait, what happened? And so the guys either say like, I want to stop. I don't want to do anything. Like, I just like, I better focus on my work. I better focus on my career. I better do this. So they don't want to do that at all. Or they become super aggressive about lady that it's your fault. And I'm staying there in the middle. I'm saying like, I mean, what is your fault? Let's like, let's eat elephant by pieces, right? Like let's do step by step and let's discuss. So ability to be wrong is a very, very important trait that all of our successful guys, couples, they have because you will make mistakes, but also what you need to do, and it's okay, we all do, but you need to have honor how you face the mistakes, right? The yeah. same as we discuss in a stand about conflicts. Yeah. Like conflicts are good for a relationship. It depends how you manage the conflict. Yeah, as a man, you'll always be more respected if you get in the middle part that Louis was just saying there, that you take it on the chin, say, I'm wrong, I want to learn. You'll always be respected by those around you. Even if you, know, if you have to admit, yeah, I'm wrong, okay, how do I fix this? Okay, let's keep going. Rather than arguing the point, uh, I, unless, you, unless you really, really believe that in, in your heart of hearts, because it's something that you know a lot about, then you could say, well, I'm, I'm wrong. But if you're coming over and dating a woman from Ukraine, chances are you've never done it before, right? And so you have to listen, right? So you have to listen here. And at the end of the day, if you decide that, no, I'm right, okay, well then, um, like we say to all of our clients, we can advise you, but when you make a decision, you're a man, you stand by your decision, okay? And that's the way that it always is. What, when people, you know, when you twing the, <laughs> twing the snail and it goes back in, or it becomes aggressive, but these are, these are uh, defense mechanisms, and that could be carried Absolutely. over from some baggage, from past relationships, um, or something in his life, where I feel as though we've spoken about this recently, um, where he's carried it over into the relationship, and it's difficult, and it's his body, it's his scars, from, it's his emotional scars, it's saying, we've been through this before, and I'm gonna protect you from feeling like shit again. And so, yeah, the ability to be wrong. I think it is an ability, and it's a, a skill to say, okay, and it, these things all kind of tie in together. You know, they're not, these things are not wild hints and tricks. There's no pickup techniques. There's no, you know, if you sit a certain way or you say, say certain things, she's gonna fall in love. These are all about you and how you are gonna approach going over to another country. Doesn't matter whether it's with us or uh, by, do, yourself. by yourself. This is all um, relevant to you. Yeah. Next one. Okay, next one. Um, mm. You discuss that. It's like understand okay. your masculine frame. Yeah, yeah. So. The reason that you're going over to meet a woman who has these feminine qualities, who respects the masculine and feminine inside a relationship, is because you are the masculine. Otherwise it wouldn't work, okay? And so you have to understand that. Some uh, guys that we've had in the past, they didn't really understand that, they just want hot chicks or whatever. And there's nothing wrong with that. But that's the reason why we created a scene is to make them understand why they want to do this. And I'm sure that we've had guys do the full course of Ascend um, they will have and, no and problem with that. Th well, that, that, that then, yeah, they won't have any problem with that. But we've had guys that do a send, do the course, and then like three week, uh, like two or three months later, they cancel the thing and we never hear from them. Even when we've reached out to them and say, hey, look, you know, do we need anything from us? We don't hear anything at all. And it's probably because they did the course and they went, yeah, I, I'm not the masculine one. And the thing, well, I don't want to do it. I don't understand it. It's not for me. I thought it was going to be much easier, whatever. And we've had that in the past too with actual clients. When it comes to the uh, masculine feminine uh, frame, if you don't understand it, you will struggle. And you have to understand it at some point through the process. Maybe you understand it later on. Maybe you do start a relationship and, and you still don't understand it and your relationship goes for a year or two years. It may fail. It may end. I'd say at some stage it probably would um, because she's expecting something. She's expecting this. It will man. fall probably from the very beginning. And yeah. it's also like what I'm experiencing now. And like that's why like there was a point... Um, I didn't, I didn't want to use this example, but I probably should, uh, because that was, for me, it was the last drop and I said, tracker, we need to do something. And then that's why, how, when we created Ascent. So we have a guy and I thought that I, like we coach him about everything. Like we, I thought that, you know, like he was open to learn everything, but then 
what happened is that like when the guys are traveling to see the lady in her country in her, where she is now in her city we always say like it's better to take her out of somewhere right so you are not coming to her frame because um uh, when the guy is coming to your city no matter what it's very difficult you know you don't know the language you don't know like the places so it's eventually she started using the map she started using the taxi she started using that and it seems okay but in her mind she already disappointed yeah like and it's bad yeah. and it's like it's not because she's a like bad person it just like automatically happens <clears throat> like if i'm with a man who can't take care of taxi like i'm losing it like i i can't like i i mean and it's like it's subconscious it's, like, it's, it's subconscious. on a cellular like, level yeah but what happened is that like this guy didn't get prepared at all even like we always say hey like you need to uh, book the place find some restaurant because even the restaurant like the guy say how can i surprise you if i'm going to your city trust me when we live everyday life we don't go to the restaurants every day and if you find some rooftop restaurant or something interesting i like i guarantee she haven't been there and so if you this is how you can put your in your masculine frame when you said i will pick you up at eight. like we go to a nice restaurant Maybe you bring her there and she been there, okay. But most, like 90% that she was not there because we're living here, we're trying to survive in a, in a different country. So this guy, he didn't prepare at all. He was relying on her for some reason. And then, like I said, like we need to improve it. Like we need to fix it really fast, like please. And I sent him link to TripAdvisor with 10 best places to visit in Warsaw, let's say, I don't remember. And then he didn't do any homework at home so when he come in the morning he opened his phone and he started looking at the places where they should go she was sitting with him and then i don't know why she asked him oh she's like she was actually open to that she said how did you find these places guess his answer his answer was like luba sent it to me so after that i realized that no a scent must be there there should be course that like very short i know that we have more than 400 videos you can't watch it all maybe you're tired of us not in a scene not in a scent like on our youtube channel but a scent is like it's it's like I don't know how many uh, each, each, th th There's four courses, three that you have to watch. Um, and in each course, I think there's like maybe 10 or 12 uh, short video. videos. Yes. Like they're like 15 minutes long. A very short, very dynamic, very interesting. Please uh, sign up for Ascent and watch the videos. It's all I ask for. So yeah. this is like about understanding the masculine frame. Do not make this video too long. Let's talk about this one here. Okay, so the next one is inaction. When the man doesn't do when the, I'll say this, when the man does the bare minimum, this is a problem. And it's and, and we're always pushing, it's like, even just small things, you know, like buy flowers on a birthday or whether it's this uh, woman's day thing that they get all... It's not women's days. It's get, women's get, days get, 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 one get, time a yeah. year. But it's these, it's these small things and a lot of the times, we as men, we don't put too much weight or value on some of these things and we think, ah, I don't think my effort is worth the value that she would get. Well, this is wrong. It's completely wrong because she is analyzing everything that you are doing the same way that you are analyzing everything that she is doing. And here's the thing, like the two sexes don't understand each other. We just did a video about uh, the reasons uh, women, the woman uh, mess it up. Watch that video, maybe it's not out yet, I don't know. Um, and so yeah, it's the lack of inaction. Women, are, we talk about this so much. Women are looking for men to solve problems, to be competent men so that they can feel safe and relaxed and secure when they're with them. When he has this, inaction that's going on he's not taking action on the smallest of things that he can do that are very easy or even if it's a, a, a larger thing um, she gets disappointed in him so he has to always be showing her we could say that i know people are going to get triggered by that why should i show her anything why am i proving myself to her it's not it's you being your genuine authentic self and that's how you live your life absolutely absolutely and uh, like you need to you need to understand that um for example, at this point of time, you haven't been successful with ladies for whatever reasons. So now at this point, no matter how old are you, 30, 40, 50, 60, whatever, you now find us, you're watching this video and uh, you have us on your side to completely explain you everything and help you. And it's not like, it's not like you need to change. It's like, because some guys say like, why should I change? Why should I adjust? I mean, adjust, yes. Adjust, yes. Because like when we got a new job, we're adjusting. When we get a new car, we're adjusting to a new car. When we get a new house, you know, the door to the toilet is a different side. Like, so we're adjusting, like it's life. We need to adjust. So um, you always can book a call with us, right? Like it's the easiest what you can do. It's like you can go to the hardturkey.com, press consultation, book the call and have an hour intensive strategy goal to help you to find out what is the best the best uh, possible option for you yeah and maybe and it's not us yeah maybe it's we actually did have a, a we actually, well it's happened a couple of times now we've had calls with 
guys that have wanted to sign up and it's not for them. Like, you know, and we say that, you know, we, we try to be as, as direct as possible without being, you know, uh, with, with still giving them options. So we never say, well, we're not going to take you on as a client. We'll say, okay, well, here are some better options for you. And one of them uh, recently, you know, he was a religious man and he was saying that um, where he lived, which I believe it was in Canada, um, that he had some roots in uh, uh, Ukraine, but he wanted to get in, in touch with those roots or whatever. Like, he wasn't suited for our service. It wouldn't have worked for him. We explained that it's a lot more difficult than what you think it is. Um, and we just, like, we just didn't think that we would be able to get a result. And it, it just, it was a little bit, I don't want to use the word delusional, but he just thought it was going to be a lot easier. Unrealistic. So, so, we, so we gave him other suggestions about using communities and things like that, volunteering. Absolutely. Whether like, it was at a church or with, yeah. I mean, there's tons of refugees um, you know, in community groups, especially in Canada as well. It was interesting because, like, we we told him things that for us is like obvious. Sorry, did I interrupt you? But like, it oh. was uh, ex like he was like, "Wow, I didn't think about that." And like, we really like this is our probably biggest like benefit is I mean, not benefit, how to like advantage that we not like we don't need to sell you, you know, the package we want mm. to help. And so that's why the strategy call, like un answering this question, the yeah. strategy call is not free because it's it's like the same as you go to consultation, you know, to like psychologist or lawyer or accountant, doctor, or doctor you go to us and we help you what to do. Yeah. And we have we have different situations. We have even guys who, like a lot of guys who calling who are in relationship with Ukrainian or Slavic lady, like or mm. like like some, some guy was from, lady from Prague, another one was from uh, Poland, but it's still, you know, Slavic recruits a little bit and so it's it we can help so this is this is uh well, one thing i add here is that you know we try to make these videos not too long but with all of these points here we could list so many different stories from absolutely. our clients absolutely and i don't know i think it, it, it might be interesting to do maybe a live video or something where we book? talk would, would you read a book because i have this dream what book we, we can write a book i'll write a book it okay. was my dream like it was yeah. two years ago but, I but we could give you some examples i don't know if people are interested which may give you ideas or not or if it's just a little bit boring but you know, we try to make these as useful as possible. I think, I think life examples are always useful. But okay, yeah. let's go to the last one. Okay. And 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 as as we can repeat right now, yes, self awareness, ability, uh, openness to learn, uh, ability to be wrong, and like not overreact on stuff, understand the masculine frame, and uh, don't be inactive. Like these all traits, like all like all of our successful guys, they have it. And so, what is the last so, one? So so the next one here. So. You have to know what you don't want. Now, people say, well, you gotta know what you want. It's like, no, know what you do not want because you don't really know what you want because you're going into another totally oh, sure. strange scenario that you don't really know what is in there, right? So you're trying to choose something. You're trying to choose something at the shop, but you don't know if the shop has it. So, but you do know what you don't want, right? So knowing what you don't want and the ability to say no, right? So if you are starting a relationship with a woman and it doesn't feel quite right, you should say, no, I don't want to be in this relationship. I don't like this. I feel as though there's something better. You know, I feel, um, I know this because I've been in like relationships before where I knew it wasn't right. Everyone was telling me it wasn't right. And I used to describe it as, I feel like, you know, in farms, I don't know if they had them in Ukraine, and they put these bars to stop the cows from going out. They're called like cattle grids. Oh, it's well, like cows a, are free. Yeah, they're like middle bars over the driveway. If the cow tries to walk through, he gets his foot stuck. So that's how I felt it's like. So if you have, if you don't have the ability to say no, and and of course you're going to risk offending someone, you're going to risk breaking someone's heart, you're going to risk you know somebody being upset. But that's okay because this is about you, and you're not doing anything that's going to you know, you're not doing anything on purpose. You're just taking care of your own personal interests, which is fine. You shouldn't be in a relationship, starting a relationship if you don't feel that it is right. Because it's going to end at some point anyway when you get annoyed, tired, or you feel like, you know, whatever. So the ability I, to say no. I think it's a very good advice mm. in life in general. Uh, mm. Ability to say no and ability to know what you don't want. Because uh, a lot of times, and with ladies as well, like I see that they struggle. Like, for example, my friends, they are married for many years. There is no happiness, no sex, no relationship, no flowers, nothing. And when you speak with them, they say, but... But there's like something little that she tried to keep, like it's about divorce, right? Like saying that, you know, Ukrainian ladies want to divorce. Nobody wants to divorce. Nobody. People want and try, especially if there's a kid. In Ukraine, all the ladies want and stay in this relationship. Uh, but if they would be able to focus, and they try to be positive, okay, they try to be positive and look at the good things. But if, and when I talked to some of them, I said, was it like that from the very beginning? She said, yes. 
It was recently on, on my uh, tour to Bucharest. If you don't know about my tour to Bucharest, <laughs> check our Telegram community. Uh, so, you know, when I spoke with her and I said, was it like that? And she said, like, you know, we never, never, he never like celebrated, we never celebrate my birthday, we never like this, we never like that. And I said, like, but why? And, and so she said, my grandmother liked him. So, I mean, it's a completely long story, but like, you know, people, like she said, my grandmother, he, he didn't have place to live. He came to us and my grandmother, he was helping because grandfather died. And so they married already for 20 years, no, not maybe less, but like her grandmother liked because there was a man who can help her to fix stuff at the kitchen. And so that's why she got married. So that is something nowadays that people are a little bit smarter and a little bit more sharp about, but that is important. And when you call us and say, oh, I want just a hot, hot blonde lady, like it's not even funny. Tell what you don't want, because it will be so much easier for you to not get into bad relationship. You will understand that you don't want her to be tempered. You don't want her to be rude. You don't want her to be moody. You don't want her to be like, you know, like uh, talking bad about friends or something. And when you see that traits, you're like, okay move on and that yeah. would be so easy so those happen to our guys and this is real this is not like our imagination this is exactly taking from our successful clients yeah i'll just finish on this note here i've i keep saying this and i've said it since the very start because i know it very well uh, if you choose to do this path properly you know and you go into it with all of these traits here you'll come out the other end with all this experience you'll understand so much more about the world about women and about yourself and so it's about thinking about who you want to be. Does this align with who you are at the moment or who you want to be into the future? If it doesn't and you've just watched this and you got to the end for some reason and you think, that sounds pretty stupid, then do not do it at all. Do not waste your time, your money, your emotions or anything like that. But if this is something that you resonate well with, plus add into the mix, you know, what type of woman a Ukrainian woman is when it comes to the masculine and feminine roles in a relationship, and you may be on the right track to finding someone or being in a situation or being in a relationship with a woman who you can respect and that respects you in return. So That if, is kind of easy. Yeah, so if you do it properly, you'll come out the other end, the man that you wish you were at the start. And I know this very well. And we see this in the clients that go through And this, this. is actually the uh, motto of our uh, Ascent. So join Ascent, join Telegram, book a call, don't be it, in action. It was, but we changed it, remember? We changed it like to the... Uh, love is not no, or happiness. No, no, no. Happiness. No, I haven't written it on the website yet. I haven't even written it down, so I can't remember it. No, it's a. Happiness. It's not about. It's not about finding the perfect. It's not about finding the right woman. It's about. It's also about becoming the right man. Kind of some like check our website and there would be. I don't. Know. I need to write it down. I'll write it down one okay, day. Okay, we we'll see okay. you next time. Get you later.